great day in teletravel agents it's jessica sidemer i want you to recognize that this is a profession okay uh being a travel agent is a profession and it is my mission to help those of you who want to be making a full-time living at this or a thousand dollars a year five thousand dollars a year ten thousand dollars a year twenty thousand whatever it is that you want to make i want you to know how to make it and be able to make it okay but the thing is is a lot of people don't even know how to get to a thousand dollars yet so if you are somebody who has made a thousand dollars i see that some of you have or made more then i just ask you to multiply this one because you know anything you multiply by one equals that number so if you multiply it by five you, you apply this to five thousand if you multiply it by 10 you get 10k if you multiply it by 100 you get 100k so let's get started so the first thing is let's look at the math and i have gone with the lowest amount of commission okay you can i mean some of our suppliers you make up to like 16 percent with some of our supply i mean when you talk about travel insurance you make even more but i just wanted to get really simple number one because i'm not good in math and number two <laughs> just being honest and number two because this way if you are if you are doing it for ten thousand i mean for ten percent see i even get confused talking of percents just make me nervous i don't know it takes me back to sixth grade with mrs wagreich she was not nice all right so percentages ten percent is just really easy and simple to calculate versus you know twelve percent and for all you math geniuses out there who are cringing going just you know whatever 10 percent is just add another you know figure out what one percent of that is and then add two i know but i want to keep it simple so fifteen thousand in sales and the reason why i have you going for fifteen thousand because we all know that ten percent of ten thousand is a thousand but you've got to remember that IntelliTravel takes thirty percent so I want to make sure that you are hitting that thousand. So I'm, I'm having you shoot for 15,000 in sales and 10% of that, which as I said, is low because you're usually making more than that when you're using our preferred partners is 1500. That's what the commission would be. Then you subtract and tell it travels 30% and there you go. 10,050. Hey, you know, if you want to send me the extra 50 bucks for saying, Hey, thanks making it happen, Jess. I'm just kidding. I would never. My joy is hearing you shout it out when you hit it. All right, so now that we've done the math and we see what we're going for, 15,000 minimum in sales this year, we gotta make a plan. So who is your ideal customer and what is their budget for a trip? So I booked two trips this year already for my sister. She's everybody's ideal customer. <laughs> Uh, no, seriously. And for her, I've already booked nine thousand dollars in travel, so I'm like I'm like pretty much one trip away for her and her husband to hit that fifteen thousand, right? So, you know, but it is when your ideal customer, if you are starting from scratch, because I saw a bunch of you said, you know, I've been in two weeks, I just started. So you might not have your ideal customer yet. You might not be marketing to your ideal customer. So decide, you know, can they afford $2,000 for a five-day trip? Can they afford $5,000 for a two-day trip? Can they afford $300 for a two-day trip? So you've got to figure out who do I already know? And if they are, so let's look at our brands. So Carn, we, you know what, we'll look at that in a moment. Let me not jump ahead of myself. Just know that this is the first part of your plan. Then based on what your ideal customer's budget is for their trip, you're going to choose a supplier to focus on. So if they're cruisers, but they have a lower budget, you're going to be looking at Carnival for the least expensive, Royal, Norwegian. But if they have, a, you know, if they are high end luxury, you're going to be looking at Azamara, you're going to be looking at Holland America. 
And then if there's somewhere in between, you've got Celebrity, Oceana, um, Virgin, um, Viking. So there's somewhere in between, right? Then you're gonna get yourself educated on that supplier if you are not already. So they have their own universities that you can go through so that you can really learn. Then you're gonna choose six months of marketing specials. So what I mean by that is you're gonna look at the next 12 months and you're gonna say, what are good months? Like, so if you were, you can pick October, November and December as three of your months and then have three earlier. Like, so maybe one would be in June for a summer special, uh, you know, you could you could be marketing right now for some of the incredible Valentine's Day specials that they're doing, which are just Valentine's Day specials, but they can travel at any time. Um, it's wave season. So a lot of our suppliers are having amazing deals right now for and wave season. For those of you who are new is the the um, cruise lines come out with their best deals of the year. So you could be looking at all of that and just pick six months, six different months that you are going to market because you're going to create a campaign for those six specials and you decide what those specials are. Like, and I'm saying you might not know what the specials of the suppliers are going to be in December, but you know that you are going to be doing um, specials for the holidays, right? So October, November, and December, you're going to be doing holiday specials. All right, and then you might do a summer vacation special. You might do a back to school for retiree specials. Okay, all the kids have gone back to school. So, you know, retirees, this is the best time to go because, you know, it's lower prices, you know, whatever it might be, you pick what feels good for you. All right, and then you'll create a campaign. Now, if you're like, what is a campaign? How do I create that? Then, you know, that's another topic which we can talk about um, in future camp in future ones. I've already talked about it. If you go back and look at um, around November or October, November, December, the live Q and A's that I did in 2021, you'll see that we talked about campaigns. So let's look about let's look and make this realistic for you. I want you to have clear perspective on what this 15,000 means. So. All right, one Caribbean cruise, and I was using, who was I using in this? Was I using, I'm, I'm using Norwegian in this, okay? So um, I was using Norwegian. Right now they have a Caribbean cruise going, and this is for selling April through August, okay? So if I wanted to do an April Fool's campaign, I could start in March and say, ooh, I've got something great coming for April Fools. I've got something amazing coming, or, or this is actually selling to sale. So you could like be selling this right now. Say, for all you people who want you know, April vacations, uh, you could do a Caribbean cruise. Now, that's 38 people at $400. So who can afford $400 for a five-day cruise? I want you to think about people you know and you know if you don't have paper right now this is being recorded so you can watch it again and i want you to make your plan in the next week so if your budget range and remember double this if they're if they're you know if you've got people who are in the 199 like i don't know who's going to get a cruise for 199 for five days but you know i mean i've seen some at 200 so you can do the math 15K divided by 200, and that would tell you how many people you need. All right, so this is 38 people in a year to, to sail at this rate. So if you had six campaigns that were at you know 499 during the year, because you'll find when these cruises are and you, you'll figure out what your campaigns are. So Okay, I'm making myself do math. 38 divided by six is six and a little bit. So let's say seven people for each of your campaigns, for each of your six campaigns, seven people. Or you can do a group. You can do two groups of 20 people, right? And that would get you there. 
And you might be thinking, how do I get a group? Well, you find a yoga teacher who lives in Florida and wants to take a group of 20 people on a five-day cruise sometime between April and August. And you know what? You know, it might not even be 20 people. Maybe she's taking 10 people on the cruise, but the women she's bringing are bringing their spouses. And maybe they've got kids. Maybe you do a Royal Caribbean and maybe kids sail free. I don't know. It depends on what's going on. But see how you can think about finding Pied Pipers. Pied Pipers are the people who are going to help you bring in the group. All right. So this is doable. This is doable. Okay. All right. Next, how to hit 15K with two Alaska cruises. And again, I'm still using Norwegian. Five day. 32 people at the 479. All right, Alaska is a bucket list trip. So you can start doing, and this is for when? This is for July. So you can say, you know, July is the most beautiful time, July through September, because this one's September, so you can catch them more over here. July through September is the most beautiful time to see Alaska. And this is a bucket list trip for people. Now, I don't want you to wait until you retire. I don't want you to wait until all the circumstances are perfect. I want you to start thinking instead of a bucket list, think of a check it list. So who has some family members that you want to get together and experience Alaska together for less than $500 a person? You can get three families of 10 people. You know, it's like you've got three siblings and their spouses so that's six and this you know the the three couples of six um some have two teenage two have two teenagers so that gets us to eight another has two teenagers that gets us to 10 and two of them are need to work on some kids maybe they could do it while they're on their on their cruise okay so you just got yourself 10 people there 10 people from, from, from three brothers and sisters who are married and two of them have two kids. So this is the math I want you to be thinking about in your heads to see how you can do this. All right, so that is, um, and then you're gonna do that for three different families. All right, maybe, maybe grandma and grandpa wanna treat all the families. All right, maybe grandma and grandpa have three kids, who are all married and they they each have you know three kids so now you've got 3 6 9 12 13 40 15 plus grandma and grandpa is 17 all right and then maybe grandma and grandpa one of them has a sibling and they want to come along too and bring their family and then suddenly you've got your 32 people from just one family trip all right if your family has a little bit more of a budget, they can spend $7.99 per person. Then it only takes 19 people for a seven day. Alaska, Glacier Bay, Juneau, Ketchikan. All right, here we got Ketchikan and Victoria. So it's, it's a little something different. And that doesn't even include everyone. That doesn't even include the excursions you're gonna get for them. It doesn't include the travel insurance you're gonna get for them. So Go for it. All right, I'm doing well on time. Next, three people go into the Greek Isles, Santorini, Mykonos, Croatia. This is another bucket list trip, seven days, 15 people at $9.99. So if you have people who are willing to spend $9.99 on a seven day trip for this, I mean, that's pretty spectacular. Plus, you're going to get them the airfare and all that good stuff. So this is, again, a check it list trip. Check it list. All right, we're getting into bigger budgets. Oceana. So we're, we're now moving up in categories. We started out with this lower category like Norwegian, which is comparable to, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Carnival is going to be the least expensive than Norwegian and and. Uh, Royal Caribbean. And sometimes, you know, they're all in the same, they're all in the same boat. Okay. But Oceana is now you're stepping up. 
now you're looking at 2099 per person or you know 3500 per person so now we're like looking at um you know like people like this is what my sister is is willing to pay my sister's willing to pay in, in this budget range okay so and you've got to imagine that there are people out there who are luxury luxury who are you know going on uh, holland america and spending even more okay so seven day eight people at two thousand dollars is going to get you to that 1500 this is istanbul to athens so an aging and ancient ties like this again this is a dream trip for people all right ireland i know a lot of people with irish heritage who oh i mean look my heritage is russian do i have a desire to go to russia absolutely not there is nothing on my heart that says take me to russia nothing uh, you know I, I mean that's just me however i did meet some russian agents and if i were to talk to them and they were to say oh but jessica there's some incredible beautiful places to see in russia and they showed me pictures and got me excited uh i might change my mind right and that's the thing no one has told me the stories no one has shared pictures no one has shared exciting history to make me want to go however the irish are very connected to their heritage even if like they are three generations away from ireland and all want to visit ireland so this is something you can use for one of your six campaigns this is for sale this is for sailing in july but why not start your campaign on saint patrick's day and say who are my people who have always dreamed of going to ireland who comes from irish heritage who wants to bring their family and experience an ireland immersion 10-day trip it's a summertime so use that vacation time you have and the kids are off from school and let's take them let's do this all right so if you if your ideal client can afford this or if you haven't started marketing yet and you want to start marketing to people who have this budget and again how do we get to them that's another conversation if it's something you really want to know then we'll talk about we'll go to my facebook page and we'll go into topics again that you really want to know but let me wrap this up all right now we're talking about the real luxury people these are the people who can afford a thousand dollars a day all right so a two-week stay i forgot to put the math on here for you but i'll just tell you eleven hundred dollars two week stay is getting you to that fifteen hundred dollars I mean, fifteen thousand dollars, right? So one couple, maybe it's a honeymoon. I just stayed at LeBlanc. It is worth every penny. It is all inclusive, uh, except for the massages, but it is gorgeous. And because it's Mexico, you can do excursions with our excursion company. So shore excursions. You don't have to use, you know, go through the hotel. You can use shore excursions. So that is more. All right, but two weeks stay one couple for their honeymoon so if you are marketing to honeymoon people it is eleven hundred dollars a night and that will get you to your fifteen thousand okay so i've showed you how to do it from 38 people to oops two people all right oh what, where'd it go i lost i lost my long okay two people two people you could hit fifteen thousand in sales all right now turn this into a group honeymoon right all the people who didn't get to go on honeymoons during covid to say hey how many of you and your friends got married during covid or how many of you didn't have your honeymoon during covid and didn't get a wedding and would like to celebrate with your friends so now their friends can come along too because the chances are if they can afford this honeymoon so can their friends that they hang out with right so their friends won't be honeymooning they will just be celebrating and that will be their party they don't come for two weeks the friends maybe they come for four nights all right but four nights is another five thousand five hundred dollars and if they're bringing 10 people 
boom, you that's just another that's another uh, well, five thousand times ten is fifty thousand. I don't do math in public, but I think so. So now we're getting into some crazy money for you guys. All right. So last thing to say is for 2022, cruises may have lower pricing just because of everything that's been going on with them. So while land may have higher pricing, clients may prefer land. They might feel more for feel more comfortable. So qualify your clients. Do they prefer cruising? Do they prefer land? Figure out what their budgets are and then follow your plan. All right. All right, so that is what we are doing today. 